is Maya Rahal from Womda Media. We're chatting today with Talin Asi, our Entrepreneur of the Week, co-founder of Mosaic Marvel. Hi, Talin. Hi. How are you? Fine, thank Welcome you. Welcome to the Womda offices. Thank you. Uh, could you tell us a bit about Mosaic Marble, when it started? Sure. Um, Mosaic Marble uh, was created in 2003. Uh, I'm the co-founder of uh, Mosaic Marble, and uh, we started selling mosaics mainly to the U.S. market. Uh, Mosaic Marble manufactures hand-cut marble mosaics that can be installed indoor as well as outdoor in residential and commercial areas. How were you inspired to start your company? Actually, we were selling, uh, we had a website called aldukan.com that used to sell uh, Lebanese food and handcrafts world worldwide. And uh, one of the items was uh, mosaic. Uh, we started getting a lot of orders for this specific item, and that's when we came up with the idea of creating a separate website uh, for the mosaics. How did you enter the international markets? Uh, first of all, as I said, we started get getting uh, mainly orders from the U.S. And uh, bit by bit, uh, customers uh, started sending us uh, requests from Euro Europe and uh, the Arab countries. And uh, that's how we started getting uh, representatives as well uh, that wanted to represent us worldwide. Why do you think the U.S. market was specially specific? Um, mainly because uh, the Americans or uh, people in the U.S. Uh, know more about mosaics than other countries and they, uh, they appreciate and they like the, the, this kind of art. Mm, okay, very well. And what kind of challenges did you face in the Arabic region? Since I was working a lot with architects and interior designers, uh, me as a woman, I had a lot of, uh, at the beginning, I had a lot of trouble uh, persuading uh, uh, people to, to buy from, from a, uh, a company that was, first of all, based in Lebanon that no one knew about, and that was a, uh, a startup. But uh, at the same time, we had a lot of VIP clients uh, in the region and uh, internationally. So once we, we, we started adding these VIP clients to the website, uh, people started getting more and more interested. Uh, they, they saw that they could trust us more, that we had a, a uh, people they could refer to, they could go and ask about us. So that's, uh, that's how we started getting uh, more interest uh, for mosaics in uh, the Arab countries. And how did you scale throughout the years? We started uh, as mosaicmarble.com. The main web website is mosaicmarble.com. And on this website, we started uh, adding uh, in the numbers of our representatives worldwide. So people would uh, call directly that number in the specific country, and they would inquire about the, the, I mean, the, the mosaics or any questions that they would have. Uh, this would create a trust and uh, a more faster way for them to, uh, to communicate directly with the representative and to be able to uh, buy the mosaic uh, uh, that way. Products. Yes. And how many representatives do you have in how many countries? 13. Today we have 13 different representatives. Spread from one. Europe to the US? Uh, US, uh, mainly uh, Europe and uh, the Arab countries. Mm -hmm. And we're uh, looking into getting, uh, we're working on with someone in Australia and Japan. So when you say representative, is it a small store or is it one person? Or uh, today we don't have any showrooms worldwide, but we have uh, people that are selling, reselling our products, our mosaics in other showrooms. And uh, we have corners for mosaic marble in specific showrooms. So basically, this is how it works. And I'm also a bit curious about who produces the mosaic for you. We have uh, two factories, one in Lebanon and one in Syria. We used to uh, manufacture 85% of our mosaics before uh, June this year in Syria. So mainly our main production was in Syria. Uh, for the past five months, I've been uh, moving the production from Syria to Lebanon. So today I produce 90% of my mosaics in Lebanon and only 10% in Syria. Mm -hmm. We have uh, bought a, a new production facility, a warehouse of 500 square meters, and uh, I have brought in new artisans and craftsmen and looking into getting uh, foreign artisans as well in order for, them to, in order for me to be able uh, to grow. And do you focus on a certain style, like oriental mosaics, or or is it um, contemporary plus oriental plus... It can be anything. 
anything from modern to ancient um, to specific portraits to uh, specific designs that the clients send, send us to, from logos to uh, um, anything you can imagine can be reproduced in mosaic. Nice, nice. What are your next steps? Well, we, as I said, we intend to uh, find new markets, uh, markets where uh, we sell only on a retail basis and we have had a lot of uh, customers asking for, for us to open either a small showroom or uh, someone that would represent us in that specific country and uh, mainly also work on the, the MENA region because we have a lot of orders going uh, on a retail basis but we don't have any showrooms yet. So uh, we're hoping to, to be able to do that in uh, the next two years. Thank you. Thank you, Talina Asi, co-founder of Mosaic Marble. Uh, thank you for chatting with Wanda. Thank you.